Hello everyone, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. We've got high pressure building around the country still as another high disappears off to our east. In fact, the Chatham Islands out here got a big easterly flow across them just north of that big high which is centred down here. So with that easterly flow pushing in to the eastern side of New Zealand, temperatures along the very eastern side of the country are about normal for this time of the year. But elsewhere, we're actually seeing a warmer than average trend set in. In fact, take a look at these maps coming up. So this is for today, Tuesday. You can see that easterly breeze making for average weather along that eastern side. In fact, even some parts of Wairarapa Upper still leaning about a degree below normal. But look at Southland, you're jumping up into the 20 degree mark and that is putting you 4 to 8 degrees above normal for this time of the year. Northern areas are also warm, very sunny with the uh, southeasterly flow. That's Tuesday. Wednesday, that warmth grows even further. You see more of that red appearing across the country and the winds, that, those easterly winds fade out quite a bit on Wednesday. That's why uh, the, the eastern side isn't quite warmer than average but it's not as cool as Tuesday because that wind really eases back and then we've got Thursday in here for you as well and you can see once again that easterly breeze picks up again so the temperatures are about normal in the east but the further inland you go and the further to the west you go the warmer you are so warmer than average weather coming up for the next few days ahead and by the way next week there could be more northerlies and that will make a reverse of this map it'll make it hotter in the east and about normal in the north and the west. So we've got a lot of weather going on at the moment. Let's try and make sense of it for you. Here is Wednesday's setup. Not a lot of wind around as we just mentioned. That's why many places are warmer than average on Wednesday, except for that very eastern coastline. By Thursday, the east to southeast winds pick up a little bit again. And that's why you see that uh, average weather sort of push inland a wee bit further along the eastern side of the country, but again, warmer than average for western and northern places. It's mostly dry. There will be a couple of showers on Thursday, just brushing the eastern side of the North Island, otherwise not much going on. By Friday, bit of a southeasterly flow comes back in again. It'll be a bit cooler for some eastern parts of the North Island with a few drizzly showers in there, nothing much going on. It won't be too uh, heavy, still long dry spells in there. And maybe one or two showers just clipping the very north of the country, otherwise dry. And the South Island's got another high tracking over the top of you, a very light nor'easter coming down that eastern coastline. Let's go into the weekend. Saturday sees a couple of showers around to the north and out to the east again. But you start to see the new wind flow coming through. It's coming out of the subtropics. It's more of a northerly. You can see the squash zone out in the Tasman Sea there between the next big storm and the big high, which is just south of the Chatham Islands. So the squash zone is out here on Saturday. And then we have Sunday as our final map showing that windier, warmer weather moving into the country. A few showers in the north, this storm near Tasmania, and up to the tropics, We've got a potential tropical cyclone. The latest on that, we don't think it's going to hit New Zealand, but it is in an area that is making it close enough to watch. And also the better news, it might just line up with a rainmaker in the Tasman, this area here maybe, and both of them moving in together to bring in some rain. So we'll keep a close eye on that. We'll give you a proper update on Wednesday though about the cyclone and another one again on Friday. No point in doing them every day at this stage because to be honest with you, the models are still working out exactly where it might go. And I don't really wanna give you lots of uh, updates on something that might not hit us. But we will have another update on Wednesday about that potential cyclone. But on Sunday, a few showers around bit of shower activity in the South Island and those winds picking up from the northerly quarter right across the country. That's all from me. We will see you again on Wednesday with the latest. <laughs>